Hello, this is Daryl Rademacher with XCP Corporation. This video we're going to show you is in our CTD 200 series. This is a special version, what we call the accumulator. Some customers want to be able to just push a button and dispense a card. Others want to connect it to a coin mechanism. Others want to a bill acceptor, then to a card um, terminal, um, like for example, uh, USA Technologies or NIAX or others, where they um, do a cashless payment. So it doesn't matter which type of product, because I'm going to explain to you now electrically how things work. All right, this is the CTD 200 series that we're talking about. And uh, it holds approximately 160 cards, and we can make an extension on this if you want it taller. You know, more cards, double capacity, triple capacity. It's uh, fully adjustable with a micrometer gate that you can dial in how thick you want for the card. If it can go all the way down to 0 0.012 or the other way to 0 0.040 in thickness with this little knob. And then there's two locking screws that hold it in place. Now, uh, electrically, let me show you how this works from the bottom. We have our controller board. And there's little dip switches right here. And you, you, you look at the four dip switches. Right now we have all four dis, dip switches in the off position. That's going to allow us to do free vents. So I'm going to connect up our harness and power. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take our little harness, which has got an illuminated waterproof push button on it, and a red-green inventory. Uh, LED. So I take my connector and I connect it in. Can't make a mistake. It only goes one way. So I click that into place and then I'll take a source of 12 volts and I plug it in. Click and the little green LED illuminates underneath to let you know it's alive and well and ready. And if we take a look over here we see our little push button is illuminated and here's our red green LED. Now when it's in free VIN with all the dip switches off you will get a green inventory letting you know yes it's ready and if I lift up my little switch over here you'll see it goes to red when it's out of cards. Alright so for making a dispense obviously all I just push my button here and it's going to dispense out a card it, and it holds the card by the way hit my button again and so forth I'm dispensing my cards now I want to show you how um, connecting it up to a bill acceptor or a coin mechanism or a credit card terminal is done so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my power here and I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to set my dip switches because they're in a count up so you say, for example, I'm going to turn switch number one to the on position. Now the switch is in the on position. That means it's going to take one pulse to be able to make a vent. And you're going to see a difference in on the green LED here. It's blinking. And if I push my button, obviously I'm not going to get a vent. Now I'm going to show you my little jumper here. I'm going to use a um, little needle nose pliers to simulate my coin mechanism or bill acceptor or credit card. In other words, when I short this across momentarily uh, with a, 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 an outside source, for example, a $1 pulse. So with a $1 bill acceptor, it sends one click or one pulse. So I'm momentarily, I'm going to stick this in here see how good I am with my fingers and momentarily hit it once and then if you look on the display it's in the ready position so I can make a dispense All right, my card just popped out the front and if you look again here it's back to blinking All right. and if I set my dip switches for two it would take two pulses uh, and so forth. It's binary. You can go all the way up to 16 pulses. And these can be 
uh, five dollar pulses they can be whatever you want them to be in other words the little machine here doesn't know what it's connected to all it knows it received a pulse and that pulse can be interpreted to whatever you want it to be like some of our bill acceptors the, you can send four pulses for a dollar um, same goes with coin mechanism you can accumulate pulses many of the coin mechanisms will take six different types of coins if I put in a quarter it'll send five pulses if I put in a nickel it sends one pulse if I put a dollar it sends 20 pulses again our product doesn't know what it's connected to it can be connected to any kind of external source including a remote uh, source for example in the transit business they have the truck drivers coming in and they're up in the tower and they want to be able to dispense an easy pass well how do you do that well remotely you can with Bluetooth trigger this little dispenser with a Bluetooth receiver and with a cell phone and you can make a pulse we do this also in laundry systems and car washes it just goes on and on any place where you want to dispense a card or a ticket or an envelope with a ticket I'm going to go back now to the product here again. I'm going to focus on these three wires for you to explain the termination it's pretty obvious you know what black and white is uh, normally in this case it's not it's red plus 12 volts and ground so this is the signal line so when you go between the black and the white momentarily with a switch closure or pulse your signal it's going to count on the microprocessor as one and so this is your plus 12 when you receive our product it will come with these three wires and you can connect these to your bill acceptor coin mechanism credit card terminal debit card reader writer and, or uh, Bluetooth receiver it, it, and transmitter so the, the limitless ways that you can send pulses to this product this concludes our demonstration more information contact XCP Corp phone number 352-678-3021 or go up on our website at www.xcpcorp.com Thank you for watching our video.